welcome and thank you for always joining us. We are presenting a question in KCSE 2011, Chemistry Paper 2. The question is on the production of sulfuric 6 acid. We are supposed to study the flowchart given and then use it to answer the questions that follow. Before we go through this flowchart, it is always important to understand how sulfuric 6 acid is manufactured in large scale. For us to manufacture sulfuric 6 acid, we need the following raw materials. And the raw materials we need are sulfur 4 oxide and air. This sulfur 4 oxide is obtained by burning sulfur in air to obtain sulfur 4 oxide. What happens is we take sulfur, we burn it in air to give us sulfur 4 oxide gas. Then sulfur 4 oxide gas is reacted is reacted with uh, more air to produce sulfur 6 oxide. Then sulfur 6 oxide is dissolved in concentrated sulfuric 6 acid to form oleum, which is H2S2O7. Then oleum is dissolved in water to give us concentrated sulfuric 6 acid, that is H2. S of 4. So we can now go through the question. We have oxygen and sulfur 4 oxide coming into the reaction chamber to give us sulfur 6 oxide and therefore the reaction here is going to be sulfur 4 oxide plus oxygen to give us sulfur 6 oxide which is a gas we can balance the equation by writing 2 behind sulfur 6 and also 2 behind sulfur 4 oxide for that equation to be balanced then once we have sulfur 6 oxide we dissolve it in substance A which is concentrated sulfuric 6 acid To produce oleum then now oleum is reacted or diluted with water to form concentrated sulfuric 6 acid we can now go through the given questions first part of this question describe how oxygen is obtained from air on large scale remember oxygen is obtained from air by fractional distillation where where we have dust in air being removed by electrostatic precipitation That is passing air through the filters to remove dust particles by electrostatic precipitation. Then the dust free air, dust free air is passed through concentrated potassium hydroxide. We can as well use concentrated sodium hydroxide to remove carbon four oxide. Then from there we cool air, cool air to negative 25 degrees Celsius.
to remove water vapor. And now the remaining part of the air, which we call the residual air, is cooled to negative 200 degrees Celsius under pressure. where fractional distillation is carried out. Then from there we know that uh, the nitrogen having the lowest boiling point distills out at negative 196 degrees Celsius followed by argon at negative 186 degrees Celsius and lastly lastly oxygen comes out at a temperature of negative 183 degrees Celsius that is how oxygen gas is obtained from air through fractional distillation of liquid air. The Roman 1 name substance A. We have already identified substance A as concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. Let me use uh, the symbols because of the spacing. Remember the sulfur 6 oxide is usually dissolved in concentrated sulfuric 6 acid to form oleum which is later diluted with water to form concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. Roman 2 write an equation for the process that takes place in the absorption chamber. Absorption chamber is where we have sulfur 6 oxide gas reacting with concentrated sulfuric 6 acid which is a liquid and this one here is going to form oleum that is H2 S2 O7 which is a liquid next question vanadium 5 oxide is commonly used as a catalyst in this process actually the process of manufacturing sulfuric 6 acid is known as contact process then name another catalyst which can be used in this process we use platinum catalyst however platinum has one disadvantage it is very expensive so roman 2 gives two reasons why vanadium gives two reasons why vanadium 5 oxide is commonly used as the catalyst one is that this catalyst is cheap compared to platinum number two it is uh, less easily poisoned by impurities The next question we have state and explain the observations that are made when concentrated sulfuric 6 acid are added to copper 2 sulfate in a bearer. 1. Copper 2 sulfate crystals contain water of crystallization. So one of the observations you expect is that blue copper 2 sulfate blue copper 2 sulfate crystals forms a white sod, solid or a white powder of anhydrous 
copper two sulfate. The simple reason is because concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent. That means it removes water elements from hydrated copper two sulfate that makes it to become anhydrous which is white powder next question the reaction of concentrated sulfuric six acid with sodium chloride produces hydrogen chloride gas state the property of concentrated sulfuric acid illustrated in this reaction this is a uh, the oxidation property or simply the oxidizing property oxidizing property where concentrated sulfuric six acid uh, acts as a strong oxidizing agent next question name four uses of sulfuric six acid these ones are several number one used in the manufacture of manufacture of fertilizers that is number one number two manufacture of uh, detergents number three we have a uh, manufacture of explosives then of course we can talk about uh, man, uh, processing of metals we can also use concentrated sulfuric acid as an electrolyte an electrolyte in a uh, lead acid accumulators thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions and in case you have just bumped onto this channel for the first time, please take one second and click the subscribe button so that anytime we produce a video like this, you'll automatically be given a notification.